guys, it's your girl Aisha aka GeekXX Chic and I'm back with another reaction and this one is to a, uh, a YouTube Red show that's going to be happening or may have already started happening. Um, so I saw this trailer pop up a little bit earlier and I didn't react to the first one because um, it was kind of one of those things where I saw it late at night and I was like, is this for real? Um, and it is for the Kar for Cobra Kai. Uh, the Karate Kid Saga continues. And um, just full disclosure, let's just start by me admitting the fact that the Karate Kid, the OG Karate Kid from the 1980s is my favorite movie ever. It is. It's my favorite movie. I watched it so many times. I own the VHS set. I own the DVD set. And if it ever comes out on Blu-ray, I'd probably purchase that too. I even have it like queued up on my Netflix because I always, I love that show. I love it so much. And there's no real reason or rhyme to it, okay? I just think it's a great classic story of being the uh, fish out of water in a new place, of the, the outcast underdog making his way to the top. And what I loved, I think, about it the most is that Daniel wasn't like some crazy ninja by the end of the Karate Kid. He was a kid who had picked up a decent amount of karate, enough to get through and, uh, you know, basically beat down the enemy that was presented to him at that particular time. So I loved everything about it. I loved the villains. I loved the Cobra Kai. And honestly, I was one of those kids who actually secretly kind of loved Johnny. I'll say it. I admit it. That blonde hair, those blue eyes. I mean, the kid was cute. And yes, he was a bit of a douchebag. But at the end, when he gave Daniel that, you know, you're all right, LaRusso, I was like, okay, go see. Johnny's not that bad of a guy. You know, he's just misguided. But anyways, when I saw this, I know that Billy, uh, Billy Zabna, I think his name is, um, he's been active online and stuff, even though he didn't do a ton of movies after The Karate Kid, he was, he made an impact. And I love that he's always had such a great sense of humor about this movie and about those characters. And so has, um, Ralph Macchio, who's, Macchio, who's, I can't believe that this man still looks so good. But anyways, I saw this and I'm like, oh my God, they're doing a spinoff. And it's one where they're actually like being meta about the whole thing. I have to see this. So anyways, this is the latest trailer and I have to watch it because the feels alone are going to make it worth the time. So let's just jump into this because I'm just staring at, at the screen and I'm, and I'm salivating. Okay, let's go. ITA4. What the Thirty-four years. Oh my god, I feel so old. <laughs> Who is it? Johnny, what's happened? Bonsai! Daniel LaRusso here for LaRusso Auto. We are chopping prices on all of our inventory. <laughs> Johnny? I knew it was you. This oh. is Johnny Lawrence. He and I go way back. Oh, this is a guy who's ass you kicked. If you want okay. to technical, I kicked his face. <laughs> I'm glad he was literal about oh, that. Oh, I didn't know you guys were trying to buy beer. I'm full. Oh. <laughs> hey, watch your car, man. Right? Stay out of here, loser. Yes. Ah. <laughs> was that like Taekwondo or something? I love that he Karate. remembers that this bird. Do you think you could teach me? I'm driving home from work yesterday, mm -hmm. and in the strip mall, I see. After 30 years, I thought that guy might have changed, but it's still the same prick. I heard you beat up a bunch hey, of teenagers. Hey, don't hate on the Cobra Kai. Teenagers. I kicked the crap out of a bunch of assholes who deserved it. Right. Thinks he can bring Cobra Kai back to the valley? Yeah. Not yes. on my watch. You want those kids at school to keep dumping things on your head? You want all the girls to think you're a wangless dork? You're gonna be my karate teacher? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be your sensei. This is Johnny's story. Yes. I'm gonna teach you the style of karate that was yes. taught to me. A method of fighting your pansy ass generation desperately needs. Damn. Okay, let's see what you got. She's a girl. And? And? I'm sorry. Thank you. <gasps> Are you okay? That's right, girl. Kill him. Girl's a natural cobra. Ooh, ooh, kill him. Johnny, yes. you and I, 
This. We aren't done. <laughs> May 2nd! Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? Pain does not exist in this dojo, does it? Defeat does not exist in this dojo, does it? That was fun. <laughs> that was such a great trip down memory lane! Oh my lord. Oh. So good. So good. Um, I love it. I love the idea of telling this story from Johnny's side because Johnny wasn't, I mean, okay. Let me rewind. Johnny was a dick. He was a dick. But I mean, the, everyone, every high school has him, right? Every high school, particularly back in the 80s. I mean, just watch a slew of them, the, the movies that came out like circa 1980 to like 87. It was always these little cliques of groups and there was the cool kids and then there was the nerds and then there was the, the, the people who were just kind of the masses in between. And you know, Johnny's character was exactly that person, right? He's just... He was blonde, he was blue-eyed, he was just the California dreamboat, and he just happened to be really good at karate. And uh, one of the things I always respected about uh, Johnny's character and the actor Billy is that he actually, you could tell by watching the film that he actually was a martial artist and was really skilled. I mean, I love Ralph Macho. Do not get that wrong. I love Ralph Macho. I loved his character, but it was pretty clear looking at the two of them which one of them was was more um, adept at martial arts. And I feel like because the story was Daniel's story and everything was let's cheer for Daniel, we kind of ignored the fact that there were some really good martial artists that were featured in that film, and Billy was one of them. So I like that idea. Um, one of the themes in, in The Karate Kid that I loved the most was that Mr. Miyagi was never about he was never about being upset with the students, right? Even when Daniel came to him and was like, oh man, these Cobra Kai are assholes. Look what they've done to me, blah, blah, blah. And he was always Mr. Miyagi going, listen, it's not them. It's the teaching that they've had. Like it's, it's the structure they were given by their, their instructor is the problem. He's using martial arts in the wrong way. So I, I really love that, uh, that it, it just kind of brought out the fact that Johnny wasn't per se a bad guy. He was a bad guy for the sense, for the sake of Daniel's story, but he wasn't a bad guy overall. And we saw at the like that teeny snippet at the end of the movie, of the first movie, where he like gives Daniel like the you know what, dude, I respect you. Like you came out here and you did your thing, even though I'm clearly a better martial artist than you. And then um, they showed in the second film, which didn't get as much hype obviously as the first one, but the beginning scene in the second film is you know we see Johnny actually being abused for no lack of a better term by his sensei um because he's like look um it's over because like the sensei's mad he's like oh we gotta you, you should have killed him you should have done all this and johnny's like dude like it's over i i harassed this kid i put him through a, a, basically the worst i could legally <laughs> and he still came kicked my butt legit fair's fair like i'm done like i i can't i don't want i lost the girl i lost the match leave me alone and we saw that you know mr miyagi had to step in again but again even in that moment we saw that johnny wasn't the worst in that group he just had a really bad teacher he has a love for martial arts he has a love for being self-confident and self-assured with yourself because you know you can protect yourself he just had a he had a sensei that was a dick and basically taught his students to be a bunch of dicks. And what I, one of the things I love right off the bat, FYI, from that from that promo, is that there was a girl in that class because that was one thing that really pissed me off about the first Karate Kid, which I get it. It was the 80s, still a whole lot of sexism going on, but there were no women. Can you tell me no girls wanted to take martial arts? Like they kind of made it seem like there was no possible way, even at that tournament. I think you saw a couple of girls that were mixed in the group, but for the most part, it was all dudes. And I'm like, come on. So I'm glad that they are making, that Johnny is making the Cobra Kai open for anyone who should want to learn. So I like it. I like that the tables have turned and uh, life's a little bit different now that maybe the world needs a little Cobra Kai. Maybe they need a little bit of attitude and a little bit of, um, you know, kick ass mixed in with all the benevolence. It was good. I like that. Uh, the nostalgia wave was wonderful. I, I love seeing these two uh, on screen again. I love that they're really just taking it, like I said, being very meta about it, you know, with that kick that Johnny gave and being like, okay, yep, yeah, not as limber as I was 30 years. I cannot believe that movie was 34 years ago, FYI. Like, holy crap. It's just crazy to think that that movie is a fully grown adult as well. It's like, this is something I, I 
dreamed might happen, but I never thought that it, w it would. So what did you guys think of this? Are there any other OG Karate Kid fans out there? Am I alone in my love for this? Are you pumped? Do you think it's a good idea for them to reboot this? Or do you think they should have just left that 80s gold alone? Please leave your comments below. I'd love to see what you guys are thinking. And if you like this video, guys, please go ahead and click like. And if you want to see more from this geeky face, please click subscribe. And also, you can download the Stardust app and follow me there at GeekXXChic. I do reactions to just about everything there. And they should come up super, super fast. So until next time, see ya!